The video you are about to view is intended to provide an overview of basic tow vehicle operating procedures in a corporate aircraft environment. You must consult your tow vehicle's manufacturer's recommended operating practices for specific operating procedures, limitations, and training requirements. The specific aircraft manual should also be consulted. In addition, you must consult your local compliance standards for the operation of powered industrial trucks and the operating specifications for your type and brand of truck. Hi, I'm Dave White, and welcome to the second edition in this series of video productions designed to educate professionals on the safe use of powered industrial trucks. In this video, we'll discuss the safe operating practices of towing aircraft. First, let's talk about the steps you should take before approaching an aircraft with your tow vehicle. Remember that only trained personnel should be involved in the towing process, and always follow your company's written procedures. As discussed in our last video production, your tow vehicle should be inspected every day before use. Make sure the vehicle is serviceable and in the best possible condition before using it to move an aircraft. Before using the tow bar, complete a visual inspection of the entire tow bar, focusing on the eyelet and tow head. Look for cracks, dents, bent sections, or other abnormalities that would render it unserviceable. For a tow barless tug, verify that the cradle, gates, and strap are in good condition. Look for damage, wear and tear, and any other abnormalities that would render the equipment unserviceable. If any equipment is found to be unserviceable, apply your company's tag-out procedures. It is a good habit to walk around the aircraft and look for damage that might have occurred while the aircraft was parked. Also, verify that the aircraft is safe to tow and clear of obstructions. Inspect the hangar door. Make sure it is sufficiently open and secured for your aircraft to clear. This is also a good opportunity to scan the surrounding area for obstacles that might be in your way when you begin to move the aircraft. Select only trained personnel to assist you in moving the aircraft. Make sure everyone's role in the process is understood. A good method for accomplishing this is to conduct a briefing before moving each aircraft. Plan your route with your entire team. Delineate hazards you might encounter. Be sure your wing walkers are equipped with the tools they need to keep themselves and the aircraft safe, like hearing protection, reflective vests, whistles or radios, and lighted wands. Before moving the aircraft, it is important to plan your route. Look for items that might be in or near your path as you move the aircraft, such as other aircraft, ground service equipment, vehicles, and people. Assess your environment. Lighting, weather, and surface conditions are factors you should be aware of before deciding to tow. Perform a FOD check. Look for things that might damage the aircraft as you move it, such as paving abnormalities and damaged or sharp door tracks. Approach the nose of the aircraft straight on. If you find this is not possible, there are safe ways to make angular approaches to an aircraft. Reference your company's policy before approaching an aircraft. Now it's time to connect the tow bar. Always disconnect the tow bar from the tug before securing it to the aircraft. Secure the tow bar to the aircraft first in accordance with the tow tractor and aircraft manufacturer's procedures. Be sure to consult each aircraft's ground handling manual for proper equipment attachment and towing limitations. After the tow bar is connected to the aircraft, have someone direct the tow vehicle to the tow bar to prevent damage. After the tow bar is attached to the tow tractor, the operator should secure the tow vehicle. Best practice is to never leave the tow tractor running when unoccupied. Always set the transmission to park and set the parking brake.
It is then safe to remove the chocks and any safety cones surrounding the aircraft and place them out of the way so they won't be a driving hazard. For tow barless hookups, the main wheels should be chocked first and only removed after the strap hook is attached to the nose gear. When making a tow barless disconnect, be sure you have the main gear chocked before you back away from the aircraft. A minimum of two wing walkers should be used every time an aircraft is moved. One wing walker can never be fully aware of potential hazards on both sides of the aircraft. Brief the wing walkers on your intended route and make sure they know which parts of the aircraft they are responsible for protecting and remember the empennage or tail section. During your team briefing, discuss how communication will work while moving the aircraft. The discussion should include the use of hand signals, lighted wands, whistles, or radios. Make sure that everyone is aware of scenarios that would require the aircraft to be stopped. In these cases, communication between team members should be clear and immediate. A best practice is for each wing walker to establish a 10-foot circle of safety at all times while the aircraft is in motion. Be aware of wing growth hazards on highly swept wing aircraft, especially if you're using a tow barless tug. Moving the aircraft's turning point further forward, as you do with a tow barless tug, has the practical effect of making the wings and tail section create a greater arc during turns. Be sure that the tug operator and the wing walkers are aware of this phenomenon and any hazards that might be involved in your specific situation. The tow tractor operator should stop movement any time they lose sight of a wing walker or if any member of the team ever has a doubt about clearance with a hazard. It's better to be safe than sorry. Brake operators should be used if the environment dictates, such as unfavorable surface conditions or if towing on an incline. Any of these conditions may make an aircraft more difficult to control or stop. The aircraft manufacturer will usually outline the requirements for brake riders. A pilot is the best choice for a brake operator. If one is not available, verify that the person you choose is qualified for the job. If your route takes you across an active runway or taxiway, make sure you communicate your intentions and obtain clearance from air traffic control to prevent possible runway incursions. While towing the aircraft, drive at a slow walking speed. Never accelerate past your wing walkers. Also, be aware of the turning capabilities and turning radius of the aircraft you are towing. Generally, this information is located on the nose landing gear housing. Make sure that your predetermined parking area is ready for you before you begin towing the aircraft. Clear the area of FOD, GSE, and any other items that could penetrate each wing walker's 10-foot circle of safety. When you select your parking location, be aware of possible hazards from other aircraft. Also, if your aircraft will depart from the parking spot under its own power, be aware of wind direction and the hazards your engine wash may cause. Once you have parked the aircraft, set the chocks and cones. Best practice is to place the chocks under the main landing gear tire. Disconnect the tow bar from the tow tractor first. Once the tow tractor is cleared, then disconnect the tow bar from the nose gear. Pay particular attention to light assemblies attached to the nose gear strut and be careful not to come in contact with either the structure or general surfaces. If you observe suspected damages, always consult a maintenance professional. Consult your aircraft manufacturer's towing procedures, as many aircraft require the reconnection of the nose gear scissors links. As you travel away from the aircraft with the tow bar, remember what we illustrated in our first video production. It's a good practice to always drive the tractor in a forward motion with the tow bar trailing behind. It allows you to stay focused on your surroundings. When you have to push an aircraft backwards, it's a best practice to add a tail walker to the team. This person should relay information to the driver through one of the wing walkers. Steps should be taken to ensure the hangar doors are adequately open and secured to eliminate the potential for damage. Door tracks should be inspected to eliminate the potential for tire damage. 
it's important to ensure there's adequate clearance between the tail of the aircraft and the door ceiling structure of the hangar. A congested hangar will require additional precautions and may necessitate additional support staff to navigate safely to your final destination. Thanks for watching. As we discussed during the introduction, the hazards associated with towing aircraft have historically been a leading cause of aircraft damage. To summarize what we've discussed, the following are important points to keep in mind while operating your tow vehicle. Plan all aircraft movements before you begin them by familiarizing yourself with the potential hazards in the area. Carefully observe the area around the aircraft to ensure that safe clearances exist before initiating movement of the aircraft. Communicate your intentions to all of those involved in the tow. Make sure that all team members know the plan. When in doubt, stop. If you ever lose sight of a wing walker or have any concerns about clearances, stop the tow immediately and verify your situation before you proceed. Understanding the fundamentals of towing aircraft and being aware of the hazards will have an enormous impact on safety, significantly reducing the risk of ground-related accidents. The real benefit will be the elevation of professional pride and performance, as well as the reduction of unnecessary costs from repairs, substitute aircraft, the reduction of hull values, and insurance claims. Settlements can run in the millions, which impacts premiums and the cost of doing business for everyone. Remember, each of you has a direct impact on this industry's safety. Take control, be assertive, and demand focus from your team. The movement or towing of multi-million dollar aircraft demands the same focus and excellence as the rest of our industry.